I spent a hundred dollars investing into the Chinese corporate global domination by purchasing from Timu. So I was genuinely curious. I see the ads pop up all the time and I saw on Supercross of all things, a Timu ad pop up where they showed some, showed, shown, shown, shown they shown some parts that are for dirt bikes on Timu. I thought to myself, they can't be right. That can't, that can't, that. So I went on and downloaded the, <laughs> I'm on it, I'm on it. So I went online, downloaded the app and ordered a hundred dollars worth of dirt bike parts from Timu. So guys, if you didn't know, Timu is an app. This video is definitely not sponsored by Timu and it never will, <laughs> let's just put it that way. Uh, so Timu, as far as I can tell, is like uh, a wish or a, um, what's the other one? Uh, my brain is taxed because DH gate, I think was it. And then there's, there's a couple others that you can buy from basically is direct from China. And as some of you have known, China is a little synonymous, but bottom synopsis. Yeah, it's synonymous. It is, it is. They're synonymous for copying hundreds and thousands of American made products around the United States so they can put their name on it or are they? So anyways, guys, I, I happen to know from uh, not only my experience in the motorcycle industry over the years, unfortunately, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that products made in China are all over the motorcycle industry. So I went ahead and I did, I did. I downloaded the Timu app, okay? And um, let me just say this, they are pumped full of like specials, advertisements. I mean, if you want your email berated by stupid promotions that really don't even work, they just want to get you back into the app again. So I'm in the app now. So I ordered, like I said, I ordered some stuff and we are just going to, so I have the bag down here to my side, a hundred dollars worth of dirt bike products. Now there is one in there that's not really a dirt bike product. I'll give you a little heads up. We'll save that one for last, but it has, it has a use. It's already, it's, I mean, I just got it and it's already sending me 70% off win free $90. So I made, I, I made a few orders. So it was, one was 34.76, one was 16.45 and one was 22.69. So I actually demon spent a hundred dollars, honestly. And that's a, that's saying something. And they try to trap, they try to trap you too with like, add one more product for a dollar 60. And I, I fell for it. I fell for it lots of times. So, so this is the first product guys right here. And I'm using it now, this microphone stand. I mean, um, it's a clip. I, I thought it was something that the, I thought it was something that the road go wireless mic like slid into, but it's a, it's a clamp. And I ordered two because I'm going to start using these over at the dirt tricks, um, on, on the videos. Now we made our own microphone stands because I work at a machine shop or I mean, sorry. And, um, we can literally make anything. And so we choose to make dirt bike products and that's why dirt tricks is super rad. Um, but I just, let's, so this is the other microphone stand. I'll show you guys kind of how it arrives. Ta -da! It's, you know, certificate of product. So it's certifying it's a product. Yeah, we knew that. It's a certificate of product. Um, no date of manufacture, uh, the inspector name, and no product name. So there's li little liability in each of these products. Keep that in mind. So here's the base. I already assembled one before, and you guys probably don't care about this because it isn't a dirt bike product, but I'm just going to put this together anyway because why not? goes like that and then this is the clampy clamp that goes on top of the shafty shaft and technical words i know technical words we're using big american words yeah just everything from china i don't know if they like bathe everything in engine degreaser over there or, or what they're doing but uh it's ta -da. 
with that order though, <laughs> with order of microphone stand, this is how they got me guys. This is, this is how they got me with that order. So let's get into the bag. Yes, it's been previously opened because I opened it to get the microphone stand out. Understand? With the order, as you guys can see here, they give you the chance to buy a pair of 100% goggles for $8.09. Now guys, they say 100% motocross goggle, motorcycle, sunglasses, dirt bike, MX, MTB, downhill cycling glasses, HD, hyper lens, Google. Google. Okay. Lots of colors to choose from. Got your blacks, your reds, the greens, the, the, you got, you got them all. You got them all. So one does beg to mention though, are these actually hundred percent goggles or did we get hoodwinked? We bought a pair. We actually, we actually bought more than one pair. So right here, guys, I have a brand new unused pair for mud riding. These are the, what you would go down to the dirt bike shop right now and purchase um, for uh, about, I mean, they're getting expensive. I'll put the price here because I'm, because I'm not exactly sure of the price, but I mean, come on, the quality, uh, I don't, I don't use a lot of different goggles. I'll be honest with you guys. Like I, I'm pretty much like if it keeps dirt out of my eyes and I can see clearly, um, I'm going to use them and it's, yeah, it's, I'm really not that much of a, a bougie person when it comes to dirt bike goggles, but so let's check these out. It doesn't have that engine degreaser smell. So it's got the, the nasal piece onto it. Let's get these out. Let's get these like all the way out. All right. Whoa. That band is super tight. I, I mean, I know it's adjustable. I know it's adjustable. You don't have to. Yes, there we go. All right. There, now it's closer to a human being size helmet. So that's kind of interesting that I didn't realize you can adjust them so small. So straight out of the gate. 100% versus 199.9%. .9%. Um, let's look at the logos. Let's go into that. Okay, so um, this one has like a screen print. It's like an elastic. I don't know what you call that. What do you call that? I think it's a screen print. These are the OE legit ones. Um, these ones are, I guess, embroidered. So that's different. The, um, the plastic, okay, it is flexible, thank goodness. It does have the 100% little badge at the bottom of the lens um, that this one is on the goggle. Now these are different models, but um, this one has a gigantic 100% right here on the brow piece. This one is engraved. So I mean, it's, it's obvious guys that this is not uh, a true 100% brand goggle. And uh, like, for instance, uh, look at the foam difference here, guys. You see the foam? I mean, the foam difference is huge alone. It's, it's, this has uh, like a dual layer. One I know is like a sweat proof and then one's like a breathable. And it could be because this is a mud goggle. Um, I know I do have other pairs of 100% around here, but I'm not gonna go look for them right now. Um, but, but this one, I mean, the weight difference is going to be different again because this one has like the the roll offs on the end, but let's uh, let's try them on. So let's tighten that band back up. Oh yeah. So these are a little tinted lens. Okay, I mean, the foam's not uncomfortable. It's uh, we're going skiing. What did we pay for those things? Eight dollars and nine cents. And I'll be honest with you guys, that's that's not bad. Uh, I mean, I know there's something to be said, and there's going to be a lot of guys out there watching this video that are just going to get TO'd that I spent money on China. Everyone does it every day, all the time. And me purchasing $80 or whatever we're at worth of products from Timu, dirt bike products, 
is not going to shake their bank. It's just not, I'm sorry. You know, your cell phone is what they're depending on you buying, your TV, your computers, your laptops. Uh, and I hate to break it to the KTM guys out there, but China, you know, they love KTM. I'll just put it that way. Um, so anyways, that's, uh, yeah, that's that's one, one goggle. Now we did order two. Let me flop over to the listing or whatever. So this was another 100% uh, goggle ad. And uh, I said, sure. And honestly, I, I just forgot that I had, uh, I just forgot that I had already purchased a set. So these ones, they, they give you all these different colors to choose from. As you can see, I, there's greens and reds and blacks, blues, purples, orange. So we went with that one right there. Let's, let's pull it out. Let's go into the Timu Christmas bag here. Oh, that's not them. There it is. So let's see. It's possible now that these are all coming from the same manufacturer, which I think they are. This is the bag that they came in. I have a feeling that this one's going to be wrapped very similarly. They were the same price. No, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, it's exactly the same as the other one. Got the nose piece on there. Child, the child restraint right here on the back of the head is set for an infant toddler. Um, this this one's easier to adjust. So, I mean, this this begs to mention, guys, like the IP, right? Look at that giant 100% on the top of the brow line. That just does not look right. And it's like cut off. And so these two fine, flimsy, flexible. But here's the real ones right here. We're going to test them out, you know, uh, not in this video, but we, I'm definitely curious. It is the same foam. It looks like it is the same manufacturer. Um, but I mean, things like, like this, this is a lens for the mud goggle. Um, these are, these are expensive, man. But this, this setup right here was easily over a hundred dollars with the replacements, the roll offs, and then the films. I mean, it, it, it costs a lot. So, I mean, the pair of these for about, about close to $20. If you round up shipping taxes and um, the price of the item is about $10 a pair. So uh, I, that's, that's not bad if they do what they're supposed to do. And at this point, I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't. So let's go into the next product, guys. Now, to keep in line with 100%, 100% gloves, why not? You know, 100% gloves. They are shock now full transpose trans trans uh, LGBT full transparency. We, we we bought these gloves because I lose my MSR gloves all the time and I love my MSR gloves more than any other glove on the planet. Um, so this one actually comes with legitimate like hang tag if you were a dealership and you're buying from Timu, shame on you. Um, but it's, you know, the gloves are, the gloves are, the gloves are gloves for sure. They, they, uh, what? Dirt paw, air, air racing. Okay. Maybe that's okay. hundred percent. It doesn't say hundred percent anywhere on the hang tag, which is interesting. Um, number one glove in motocross, Gant number one in motocross. I don't know. Men's homes. Can you see men's homes? I don't know. But let's try these on. No Velcro. These are XLs. I mean, they're soft. This, like, texturing right here is very, it's tacky. Huh. And they're comfy, too. Like, they, on the hand, they feel nice. They're Okay. Okay. How much we pay for these? Six dollars and twenty cents. Um, again, they show you how to measure your hand. Uh, blue, black, uh, Hawaiian craziness. Um, these ones that I got. Um, yeah, they just they have a bunch of different colorways, and um, I'm I'm actually a little bit surprised at the how those feel. I'm not. Again, I'm trying not to endorse anything here. So let's get into the stuff that is absolutely, I just had to buy because it, to me, I was just like, dude, this is, this is seriously like 
straight up top notch rip off stuff here, guys. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you have already seen these before in, um, I don't know, eBay ads, Amazon ads. Guys, we are talking about the two pieces, motorcycle hand grips, seven eighths motorcycle throttle handlebar grips for KTM, CRF, EXE, YZF. So anyone that has a uh, KX, sorry, these aren't gonna fit your bars. Yes, Pro Taper. Guys, Pro Taper handlebar grips, and I ordered them in black and gray. Let's pull up that color. So you guys can see just how amazingly trash garbage these are. Um, they're, let's rip these up. So, oh, look at, they come with a, like a little donut already. You know, the little grip donuts, but it's a hard rubber donut, which I would think would just saw your hand. It's very thick. They're not soft, like a soft compound at all. Um, these are going right in the garbage, like seriously. This is $3.43 we paid for these guys. $3.43, I mean, this is not only, this is heavy, it's, it's hard. I mean, it's very, very hard. Um, I don't even know what to say about these. They, they look stupid. I mean, that pro taper right in your in your gripping zone uh, would not feel good paired with your Chinesium 100% gloves, but, whoo, okay. So next product, let's just, let's move away from the grips. So one thing that I've actually had a difficult time purchasing because they are pretty expensive is this that came out of the bag. <laughs> let's pull this up, guys. So this is a throttle. A throttle assembly. It's a short throw. Let's read the listing here. 22 millimeter, 7 eighths, motorcycle racing, aluminum, visible, quick twist, gas throttle, settle, grips, dirt bike, pit bike, UTV. Oh, these work on UTVs? UTV industry, you're messing up. Um, UTV, XR, CRF. Do these not? KLX. So these don't fit. I, I, I doubt that these, nah. We might try to put this on a, on a full-size bike. So, I mean, um, it's all billet, aluminum. I mean, it's got a plastic tube, but, I mean, what do you expect? Of course it's a plastic tube. No uh, quick adjust nut, which is interesting. I would think you would need that uh, for putting your throttle cable through and adjusting your throttle slack. And I was kind of hoping it had that, so whatever bike I decide to put this on, even as a joke, I have to make sure it's the same size nut. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's got like a little red anodized twist wheel in there. Looks kind of high tech. Um, I figured with a throttle, it, there's not a lot you can go wrong with, but if that bike all of a sudden gets stuck wide open because you chose a junk throttle for $8.48, the last throttle I bought um, was for one of my conversion bikes. And I, I'm just saying right now, the throttle, like the assemblies, are, they're so pricey. They're easily um, four or five times this price for a good throttle assembly. So I had to at least put it in my hands to see if it's absolute complete garbage or if it's just light garbage. But all right, okay. So moving on to the next product. Um, so this... I actually thought was super freaking interesting. I'll put it up on the screen now. This here is a shift lever, motorcycle modification parts, modified aluminum alloy gear lever, reverse gear lever, single gear lever. It's adjustable. Now I have a bike from China, uh, the, the GPX FSC 450R uh, that I got back in 2021 so, and it's i'll say this for a dual sport bike it's solid i've taken it up um like all kinds of long distance rides and you know it, it it's it, it's done fine so here we go guys the uh rayana motorcycle racing new uh high performance motorcycle what does that say acceleration top acceleration excuse me i don't know let's get into this here so 
first things first, and this is a detriment to the product, not a flexible tip. And I mean, okay, that's, that's not flimsy. I thought that that would be extremely flimsy. Um, but let's, let's, let's go, let's go on here. Okay. So we bought this for $6 and 48 cents. It is super light, but really who cares at that point? Um, the teeth are kind of nicely done uh, as far as like the knurling that they put inside for your shift lever. Um, it stands out a bit and I'm going to, I'm going to put this on my GPX because I need an adjustable shift lever, uh, to get it a little bit more up towards where I need it to be. So, um, we'll, we'll have to tack that on another video and see if that works because I don't know if it does, it doesn't feel of any certain quality at all. I'll be honest with you guys, but what would you expect for $6.48? A normal shift lever from any given dirt bike shop is gonna be $20 plus. Those are the dirt bike related parts. These are not, I ordered one more thing just because they got, they got me. Timo, are you watching? You got me. They said if I made one more purchase for over $19.99, I get free $90 credit. Okay, so let me let me get over to that here. Free $90 credit. So I did. I was like, you know what? What do I need? What do I need? I need a freaking backpack. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look at. So it looks sick in the photo. 1988. I had to spend 19.99 to get the 90. You got you got me, Timu. You, you got me because I bought it for 1988 thing and that, oh yeah, it's going to be $20 after shipping. They, they don't count that. So I did not, after seeing that and I purchased this backpack, which I do have, but look at, look at these different colorways guys. I mean, look, I, I mean, they look sick. So yes, I bought said backpack. Um, in the photos, they, they look to be like very robust, like almost military grade. This thing is like, it's, it's like a bag. I don't, I don't, I mean, of course it's a bag, but it's not, it's not thick at all. Like this is very, very thin material on here. And I have a feeling like one puncture and this thing's done, but 20 bucks. I needed a camera bag, something that had these utility hooks on it because I like to put tripods through these things and sorts. And it is pretty tall, which I do like um, for, again, getting just large things in there. Um, it's, I, I mean, for me, if, if I had known like what it looked like and had it in my hands beforehand for 20 bucks, sure, I guess, you know, sure. To me, it's like, I don't know if it's a great deal, but it's a, it's a, it's a deal anyway. So they have, let's, let's read it here. 80 L. I'm guessing leaders, right? Backpack for outdoor training, camping, hunting, and trekking with mole, mole system. Mole system. So here's some of the colorways here. Guys, we got, you know, the different camos, of course. The black is which I went for um, 80 liters. I don't know why they ride that one so hard. Um, but yeah, so apparently you can get a lot in here. And again, we'll have to test that on a future video and just see um, how many things we could fit in there. Like, can we fit, like, can I, can I use this when I go on my dual sporting trips? Can I pack everything? I mean, everything inside this bag and go on my dual sporting? I don't know. It's, it's, it's worth a shot. So guys, if you like this video today, there is gonna be a part two. We're gonna get into a little bit more of the hard parts for for the dirt bikes and see if they're just the same quality as these where if you wanna put your life behind it, go for it. If you want to be uncomfortable, go for it. And if you want to look stylish, look like you're the same as everyone else out the track, go for it. I, I don't know, I have a hard, hard time believing that these this foam is gonna last any certain length of time in these. I really, I really just do. I, I mean, you, you Seriously, if you put the genuine pair of 100%s in your hand, they're heavier. Um, they feel, I don't know, they just feel more quality. Where these are just, they almost feel like a, a pair of sunglasses from the gas station, if, if you will. I mean, 
So anyways, guys, we're going to lock it up there. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know, I, I promised you guys every Monday videos, but you know, things change. Business gets busy. Work gets busy. And I definitely, uh, I can't keep up with every Monday video stuff, but I'll do my best. We will plan a part two. I did purchase another dirt bike and I'm talking a big dirt bike and if you guys know me you know what I mean by a big dirt bike we're not talking no 125 cc we're talking big dirt bike so I did purchase another one and you guys will see that in the next video but I got to order some parts for it but not from Timu we're going to do it from Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com, the proud sponsor of the London Max YouTube channel. They've been a proud supporter of mine for years and I can't thank them enough guys down in the description below you'll see a link to the Rocky Mountain YouTube, or YouTube? No, that's not it. To the Rocky Mountain page. If you use that link in any mount that you want, okay, you could just go buy a set of real Pro Taper grips. Okay, or real 100% goggles. You don't need to buy this drunk. But you use that link down in the description, it automatically enters you. When we get to 100,000 views, or not views, but subscribers, uh, we are going to be giving away a dirt bike. And we have a CRF 450 we're going to build it. We're going to build when we hit that 100,000 mark. And it's going to be absolutely so sick, and everyone's going to want it, and you're going to be the envy of the track. And all you got to do is use that link to purchase parts that you would normally purchase anyway from RockyMountainATVMC.com, and then they basically ship it to you in a couple days you get it super fast it's the friendliest amount of staff that i've ever dealt with over there and i can't think of enough for their years of support and if they ever see this video and see that i spent this much money on timo instead of hitting them up they're gonna be a little bit upset i'm gonna be honest but it's okay because sometimes you just some sometimes you just gotta drink it you know sometimes you just gotta drink it in to know if it's completely bad for you or not but i mean the Okay, anyways, guys, I love every one of you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today. Keep your eyes peeled for a part two of the team of dirt bike parts where we get into the hard parts. You know, the... Mm, mm. All right, guys, see you on that one. Peace out!